Ladies and gentlemen, greetings for the new year. I'm making this video in the attempt to try and help people cancel their TV licenses. This is the process that I've been going through as I'm trying to immigrate overseas now in 2023, and it has not been an easy process. I can't say that anything involving our government is particularly easy, but this process itself is so under um, sort of mentioned in terms of information, it's very difficult to actually find out what process you need to go through for that. Um, if you Google how to cancel your TV license, the first thing that pops up is something from our lovely government. It does not list anything about how you should go about canceling. This is a number that I will mention uh, later, but it does not tell you exactly what you need to do or what you need to send. Um, the next link that I've opened is just frequently asked questions. This does not list how to go about canceling it. And then something that I had to look for, some, an article by Fiber Tiger. I'll make sure to link this, um, or make sure that this link is available under the video. This does actually go through the process, but after following it, I can't say that it worked particularly for me. Okay, but it does cover the steps that are required. So if anything, if you're Googling how to go about canceling your TV license, go through this Fiber Tiger process. Um, it provides you with the steps. First off, you need to complete an affidavit. Um, then what you need to do is you need to email that affidavit. These are the email addresses that they provide. Um, this is the email address that I will be mentioning as well. Once again, I can't say that I've received confirmation back from them yet. But this is the one that I was told to use um, when I go into a little bit more detail. So do go through this um, to find out some more information there. How I've gone about doing it, first off, you need an affidavit. Um, when you either sell your television, when it gets stolen, when it gets lost, uh, if your house sets on fire, whatever the case may be, um, you're no longer required to have your TV license and you then need to go and state exactly what the situation is in an affidavit. Um, Fiber Tiger does provide a link where you can download um, that affidavit form. I would recommend just going to your local SAPS, um, South African Police Service Station, and just do it there. It really, like, even though you're going to be waiting in line, it at least um, speeds up the process when you need to get the official stamp. So in my case, what's happening is I'm moving overseas to Asia to go and pursue some business there. Um, I've sold my television to my father in order to help fund that airplane ticket, and I stated as, uh, as such in my affidavit. Um, I've obviously hidden my personal information, but basically all I've done here is I've told them I'm leaving South Africa to Taiwan to visit family. Uh, I've sold my television to my father and I have um, made sure that that then television will work under his active TV license. And I've listed the payment transaction um, as well as his TV license in that affidavit, um, as well as his ID. That then needs to get stamped and signed by a commissioner of oath. This is free. They don't charge for this. Uh, you pay with your time just by waiting and then filling it out. Take your own pen maybe as well. Um, but once you've got this stamp, you are on your way to now begin this process. If you're not moving, if you sold, um, or you know, if you've sold your television, you'll have to do the same thing that I have. You'll have to list the person that you're selling the television to. You'll have to list their current TV license number as well as provide their identity. Um, if it's been stolen, then you would need to provide the um, the affidavit that you provided to the police stating that the television was stolen. You would need to list your TV license number there. Um, if you've sold it to Cash Crusaders, for example, you would then need to provide them with that sale information. Cash Crusaders will give you a slip that obviously says you've now sold this television, um, and then you would provide that. Okay, so whatever your situation is, you describe it in your affidavit, in your own words, you get that stamped, and then we move on to the next step. Okay, as mentioned in that um, Fiber Tiger process, the next thing that you want to do is you want to call the actual TV license department number. Now, they will have you on hold for quite a while. I got this number by first calling the head office. Um, they referred me to this Fiber Tiger um, process, and they also provided this number. After being on hold for a little while, I was put in touch with someone who could help me. I explained the situation. They're going to confirm that you have an affidavit. They're going to confirm um, that you've listed your active TV license. They're going to confirm um, if, you, if you're selling it to someone, for example, me to my father, uh, that it lists his active TV license number. 
Um, and that's really all the information that they need. They wanted my personal details and the TV number, and they wanted uh, the person who I had sold that TV to's um, TV license number and personal information. Um, if you can't find your TV license number, you will find that if you're um, doing transactions monthly or if you're paying it at the beginning of the year, um, the TV license is listed in that um, proof of payment or you will find it in the reminder that you receive either via SMS or email. Um, when it's time to renew the license, it will list your number there as well. Then, after you have phoned and contacted the SABC TV license department, what I recommend doing is you have them make a note that you are going to be contacting them with regards to the cancellation. I had already followed this entire process uh, listed on the Fiber Tiger um, thing. I've already emailed all three of these, did not hear back, did not receive any confirmation. So instead I decided let me call and let me tell them to look out for that email. The person that I spoke to was quite friendly, he was quite helpful, and um, he said that he had made a note for me on their system that they would be receiving an email with my ID number as the kind of heading and that they would then know to look out for that. Then the next thing that you want to do is you want to send your affidavit to the email address listed. That is tvlic.info at sabc.co.za. I'll make sure that this is available as well as the number available below the video. Um, it is also listed in the Fiber Tiger process. It is the last email address. As I've said, I've emailed both, like I've emailed all three of these. Um, and then I've emailed this one a separate time after getting in touch with the representative um, on the phone. So what you then want to do is you email your affidavit through and he recommended that the next day you give them a call on that number so that you can then confirm if they have received it. Now you guys obviously know our uh, governmental processes are quite useless and in certain areas might even be useless on purpose in order to prevent you from actually cancelling this license. That's really the feeling that I was given through this entire process. Um, whenever I tried to ask someone how to cancel it, whenever I spoke to an authority figure on how to cancel it, I was treated as though I was a skellum trying to jigger the system. But this is a very valid process and you do, you are entitled to the right of cancelling your TV license. Uh, they just don't feel that you're entitled to an easy service doing it. Okay. So once you've sent in your affidavit, call that number again the next day. Confirm that they've received it. If they have not received it, don't hang up until they can confirm that they have. And then the process should be complete. All right. So I hope that this was useful to someone at least maybe answering a question later down the line. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. I am still in the ongoing process. I have now sent my um, file through a second time to this. I'm going to wait for tomorrow to call this number. Um, I'll leave a pinned comment below on, on how that process goes. All right, but I hope you found this useful. Have a lucky day further. Good luck for 2023. I'll see you around.